out there in YouTube land, Rival here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, as you can see, I got a few things on the turntable again. This time it's uh, just some pretty standard pimp jobs. None of the crazy Timascus upgrade. Well, I lied. There's a little Timascus in this video, but we'll get to that in a second. Because I do have one uh, production knife, of course, but then I've got a bit of grail sitting over here. So we'll start with this guy. This is a Neil Blackwood. And again, if you don't know who the gentleman is, definitely Google him, look up his work. Um, he very much makes some iconic knives. He's done a lot of work with Benchmade. You've seen the skirmishes that he does and uh, some other things. Uh, the gentleman has um, some just some crazy customs. Um, this one, when I got it, was just all stonewashed, solid stonewashed with this acid etched, uh, heavy washed uh, blade. Um, looked nice overall, nice working knife, nice user. Uh, the gentleman just wanted a little bit of an upgrade, a little bit of uh, uh, polish on it uh, to set it off. So what we did, whoa, hello, a little stiff, sorry, there we go. Um, I left the blade alone. I did not do that. That is uh, the maker's work. Um, I did just a solid green anodizing on the top. Um, it looks like you've got some two-tone going on, but that's just a little bit of patinaing over time on the, uh, on the top scale, a little bit of handling. Um, some Windex will shine it right up and make it uh, all uniform, but I kind of like how that, uh, that coloring looks. And then on the back side, dude makes some crazy clips. The clip, you know, exactly uh, follows the profile of the knife. So when the gentleman and I uh, were talking about what we were going to do with this knife, I threw out the, the idea of, hey, why don't I anodize the clip like it was the handle and leave the tip of the clip uh, as if it were the blade to really match what we've got going on here. Um, so I don't know. I think, it, I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it looks too crazy. Um, a little bit subtle when you've got it hanging out of your pocket, it's going to look pretty badass. Um, and then I left the backspacer matching the, uh, uh, the blade just to kind of pull some of that color back on out. So all in all, I think this knife turned out really good. The recurve on this thing is just insanity. Um, amazing knife, amazing maker. And then this, you saw a couple videos back. This is the new special edition um, ZT0450 carbon fiber M, uh, no, excuse me, the 0350, oh, oh my gosh, I don't know my numbers, too many numbers. ZT0450 carbon fiber with ZDP189 steel. Um, there was a, a new 452, the big version of this that just dropped recently with M390 steel as well. But um, this is the ZDP 189, uh, very premium uh, super steel. Uh, so I went kind of all out on this thing. You can see I've got titanium hardware from Blades We Love uh, that is anodized blue throughout the handle. Um, the pivot is actually uh, titanium pivot hardware. Uh, from an eBay seller, and it's actually the hardware for a O. Oh shit, an O452, the Hinderer Slicer, um, because the gentleman didn't have a pivot that exactly fit this. They were the same size, but the width is a little off. There's uh, uh what do I got? I got like a, basically like a small rubber O-ring in there, um, to kind of fill the gap and and keep it centered and everything like that. It worked really good. I mean, it action on this thing is still badass. Um, so pivot pokes out just a little bit, but it, it looks freaking sweet. And then on the back side, we've got orange peel type texture. And then, you know, like I said, I got a little bit of Timascus in here. Um, so that is a custom Timascus clip that I made, um, hand, hand milled out, uh, the pocket clip. Um, it's got good retention, good, uh, good entry and exit from the pocket. Um, and you know, I went with the, the blue spectrum on the titanium, you know, anodized by flame just kind of sets off with everything else. And then of course I got a really heavy acid etch and stone wash on the blade, um, with a heavy tumble. So it's got a good working finish. So, you know, this knife is pretty as it is. It's a user. I've been, I've been carrying it for a while now. Um, and it, I mean, I, I sharpened the edge to 600 grit on the belt um, on my 2x72, uh, and that was probably two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago maybe, and I haven't I haven't re I haven't had to resharpen it since. Um, and I've done you know some cardboard, some paper, um, 
you know, some paracord, you know, some random cutting tasks here and there, nothing crazy. Um, you know, nothing that would necessarily have completely dulled uh, another blade steel, uh, but definitely would have required some touching up to still say stay keen. Uh, and this thing still has a very keen edge. So i uh, very happy with the ZDP 189 steel. And then the overall look with the carbon fiber on the front and the Timascus clip on the back, uh, pop a like. So that is what we've got on the turntable for you guys this time around. Uh, next up, I think I got a pair of NUX that I made as, a, as some prototypes in between these. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe. Check out those next videos. Peace.